When we started the Ingnava's African Genome Challenge, we were confident that researchers in Africa have great projects and we never doubted receiving interesting and well thought submissions, as we have. We are now in the voting stages of the competition and we will share how the process will unfold at the end of the video. It's time to get those campaigns going. All videos received will be shared on our YouTube channel under the different categories, which are vertebrates, invertebrates and microbes, metagenomics, plants, East Africa and West Africa. We encourage viewers to watch all the videos, then you can vote to choose which one you think is best to win under the respective category. The smallest organisms known to men can have devastating or at times wonderful effects in life. Researchers in this category have taken the time to study these microorganisms. You also take time and see these videos we have under invertebrates and microbes. Hi everyone and thank you for taking me into consideration for this project. For my PhD, I am looking at the effects of climate change along the rocky shore of South Africa. I am doing this by using two mussel species, specifically an, an, a native one and a non, an, an invasive one. So for the native one, I'm using Perna Perna, and for the invasive, I'm using Mycelis gallo provincialis. And I am looking at three different coastal regions. So um, Pitikama National Park, Namakwa National Park and West Coast National Park. And I am seeing the thermal tolerance between the Gullis currents and the Benguela currents. And if the currents of the ocean and the temperatures, the temperature rise that the oceans are experiencing will have an influence on the biodiversity that are, is going to be found on the rocky shore. I am looking at biochemical responses, specifically oxidative biomarker responses, as well as looking at heat shock protein analysis, cardiac output, and anaerobic and aerobic respiration for my PhD. And this should include everything, this should help me to see how climate change is going to affect our coastal regions. Have you ever seen a cow or a sheep with facial eczema that looks like a sunburn? In the Eastern and Western Cape, it is becoming a big problem for cattle and milk farmers. This problem is caused by a fungus, Pseudopitomyces cartarum, that naturally grows on various grasses and produces the mycotoxin sporidesmin. Mycotoxins are toxic compounds produced by fungi. They are very small molecules that you cannot see with the naked eye. Once a sheep or a cow eats the grass containing the fungus, the toxin attacks and damages the liver. Damaged liver then cannot read the body of face and a breakdown product of chlorophyll accumulates in the tissues and it causes sensitivity to sunlight. Then sunlight causes immediate and severe facial eczema. This fungus grows in hot and humid weather which spread across warm summer and spring months. And in addition to facial eczema, it reduces fertility, causes weight loss, poor growth, and poor meat supply. Very little is known about how or why this fungus produces this mycotoxin. If we get the grant, this will be the first genome analyzed for this fungus, which will help us to understand the organism and its toxin production. Africa's forests and Africa's trees. It is our lungs of this great continent. It is our pillar of economic strength. It is our invaluable habitats that is cradling Africa's biodiversity. But Africa's forests are dying. The greatest threats to African trees are fire, plunder, and disease. The pine pitch canker is devastating Africa's natural and commercial forests. It is a small fungus, but it is an insidious killer. But our scientists are fighting back. 
African innovation and science are saving our trees. We have come so far, but we need to do more. We need to build on this momentum. By understanding the epigenetics of this fungus, we can find out what makes it tick and how to stop it. We are building our molecular arsenal so that we can save our trees and you can help by voting for Africa's trees. We are keeping trees healthy. The ocean is full of amazing creatures and we really are just scratching the surface of that immense biodiversity. One of the most iconic marine species is the largest of sea turtles, the endangered leatherback. Leatherbacks can dive up to 1500 meters, swim as fast as 35 km per hour and survive in both tropical and near freezing temperatures. But they don't travel alone. Every turtle has its own community of specialized passengers or hitchhikers facing all the same conditions. One of these is an algal species Crespedostaurus danianus, or C. danianus in short, a diatom that was discovered only last year and named after the South African student who observed it for the very first time. Diatoms are incredibly important to us humans. They are the base of the marine food chain, producing nearly half of the global oxygen and a similarly large portion of oceanic primary production, or biomass. They pretty much maintain the habitability of our planet. Studying the genomes of photosynthetic organisms that can survive in extreme conditions, like C. danianus, may enable us not only to better understand life on Earth, but also to secure the source of the life-giving oxygen, high-quality organic matter, and various bioactive compounds, including antibiotics, in this rapidly changing world. That's on how you can vote. On the comment section below, we have included the project's names from all our applicants in this insert, so you can simply vote by liking your favorite project. Don't worry, if you missed the project's name, we have also included the video number so you can go double check to see if you voted correctly. This process is open to everyone and we have no limits on the people who can vote for you. You're welcome to invite your colleagues, friends or family to vote for your project, of course, by liking it on our comment section. Voting will be open for the next three weeks and we will announce winners shortly after the closing date and the samples will be collected for sequencing on our PAC Bio system. This has been a lovely journey for the Ingaba Biotech team and we hope you enjoyed it too. We wish you all the best in the Ingaba's Africa Genome Challenge. See you at the winner's table. Goodbye.